Hi guys and welcome to this video. I'm here today to review a new primer. I've been reviewing a lot of primers on my channel lately. I love trying new primers out. Today I'm going to review this infallible grip, super grip, uh, grip primer. Now the gripping primer that I really really like is the Milk Cosmetics. That one is one of the best. I also like the Cover FX gripping primer. That one is also very nice. But now the L'Oreal came out with their own version, so I'm going to try it out. On my eyes I have the new palette from Tarte, Tarlette. I can't pronounce this name, but that's the new Juicy palette. I have it on my eyes and that, I don't know if it's going to be out on my channel or not, I think it's already out. If it is, I'm going to put card up here, um, but I'm going to go and apply this on my face. So if you want to see my review of this primer, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to prime my under eyes and I'm going in with the Becca under eye primer. I'm already through this primer it's one of the best primers out there for under eyes and i usually never believed in that but after trying this i'm hooked it just does something for my under eyes usually when i apply powder and when i apply um, because i have oily skin i do use a lot of powder it makes my under eyes look very old and dry and cracky and wrinkled this primer helps making everything look much better and let's go in with this. I'm not going to use any other primer. Usually I go in with my pore filling primer, but I'm not going to do so. This is um, our first primer that acts like a double tape, grip skin, stick to makeup, ultra long wear matte finished, even on oily skin, lightweight and comfortable texture. Now I have oily T-zone, very oily T-zone. So for the foundation, I am going to go in and use my Catrice because I like that and I've been using that while I was reviewing other primers so I want to compare it with that foundation and it has it's kind of thick and it looks like purple grey I can't feel any scent but really interesting shade oh that's thick. Oh, this is very thick. Kind of, I'm going to take a little bit more. Hard to. Okay, let's just step it in because it dries fast. My skin absorbed it very fast. Like, <laughs> absorbed every drop of this primer. I don't know if it's. Let's apply a little bit more primer or what it is, but it's not as tacky as the gripping primer from Mel Cosmetics or from Cover FX. This doesn't even, it doesn't even, look, it's not even tacky anymore, just dry down matte. Interesting. My hands feel dry a little bit. And when I do like this, and if you can see, you can see the primer over there. So I don't know if I'm going to use, I'm not going to use a brush going on top of this primer because I just saw what could happen. Let me just clean it from my hand. It kind of feels, I can still feel it on my fingers. That's an interesting texture. It doesn't feel tacky at all. Not at all. Gripping, I don't know. It doesn't feel like a gripping primer. Let's go in with the foundation because this is interesting. It's not tacky at all. It's very dry. It's very dry. Like my skin, <laughs> my skin was thirsty because this primer disappeared. I'm going to go in and use the NYX Cosmetics Marshmallow Sponge that I really like. I'm going to apply this like that. Let's go in with the foundation and see how it's 
maybe it will grip, I don't know, the foundation, you know, maybe it will hold the foundation in place, even if it's actually not feeling like a gripping primer, it's not tacky at all. Gripper, gripping primers usually are, or all of the gripping primers that I tried, even the um, Kai Cosmetics one, it feels it feels more tacky than this one. The foundation looks, oh my god, so smooth. I'm shocked. Today I used a little bit more foundation than I usually do. Uh, this, this sponge likes to drink the foundation, it does, but I don't know why I've, I've been using this sponge now a week or two every day and I have to say I've never had to apply this much foundation. I don't know, it's not much but it still feels like it disappears somehow. My skin have never looked better with the foundation like it does today. It just feels so smooth and I, can't, I don't know what to say, it looks really really beautiful. It blended into the skin beautifully. I can't, <laughs> doesn't feel like gripping primer, feels more matte, that it wasn't tacky at all. I can't feel it on my skin, but it kind of, it felt, you know when you apply a cream and uh, cream just sinks into the skin and you feel it a little bit, skin feels a little bit dry, you feel like maybe I should apply a little bit more on moisturizer, but you actually don't need, that's the feeling. And it's not, it's not weird, it's not weird, it just, can't explain the feeling but it's not tacky at all but it did something interesting with my foundation it made it look flawless on the skin so I'm going to go in with my concealer and I think where is my elf concealer been using a lot I really like this concealer it's a little bit too light but I don't apply a lot of it I just feel how it looks on my skin and I'm going to go in with this with the same sponge but the other side I mean this primer is I don't know just looks so nice even better than the NYX uh, the NYX marshmallow that I tried the other day I feel like this made my skin look this the way that promised that my makeup or face will look like Look, oh my god, it just makes everything look so nice. Or maybe I have a nice, uh, lucky day with makeup today. Could be that too. We'll see how this is hold though. This foundation is also long wearing, very long wearing for me. Can't speak today, I know. I have texture on my skin, so don't get me wrong. I do have a lot of texture on my skin and I'm not hiding that. But it doesn't look like I have foundation on and it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look dry, it doesn't look weird. So I'm going to powder and finish my makeup look and I'll be here to show you how everything looks. Now it's 12.22 and I've been having it on maybe for like two, let's just say two minutes. So 12.20 is when we applied it and looks terrific. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I finished the makeup look and this is how my face looks. I need a mirror and we need to talk. It looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of uh, this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Primer. It gives me that feeling when I apply this I have to be very fast to you know apply put it on my or spread it out on my t-zone because it dries down fast and it kind of gives me that matte look pore minimizing but matte and it really keeps my oils in control now this primer also feels like that it where did I put it here it also feels like that I don't think it's going to work on matte skin or dry skin because this primer is actually for combination to oily skin if you have matte skin, this will dry out your skin even more. That's how it feels. Uh, so definitely for someone that is oily or as I am, because this is mattified and it looks really nice. Now I did went with Catrice foundation. 
I also applied a little bit of Huda Beauty powder. I went with um, Hourglass bronzer, this blush palette I used. Uh, I didn't use any highlighter, use that blush from this palette also to give me this natural, natural glow. And on the lips, I do have uh, this lipstick that I really like and Huda Beauty Balm on top. But, oh my God, my hair need to comb it through, but I'm lazy. I'm going to go with my day. Uh, it's already almost 1 p.m. So I'm going to wear this the whole day and I'm going to come in and do a check-in and tell you guys how I feel and how it looks. Right now it looks really good, I have to be honest. I'm not mad, it, everything looks flawless. It looks smooth, it smoothed my skin, it looked my skin this foundation to look more like my skin and not a foundation. I'm surprised it's not tacky. It doesn't feel like a gripping primer. I don't know if it gripped the foundation because it looks like that, but it doesn't feel anything like a gripping primer. Nope. So that was a shocker, I have to say. Otherwise, I really like how it looks. It looks beautiful, looks nice. I'm going to go with my day and I'm not going to do anything special. Eat, watch a movie, relax. And I'll let you know at the end of the day how it works. So, see you soon. Hi, my family. Sorry for looking like a mess and this angle. I'm um, just too tired to put my camera on place and film like that. I'm having it in my hand. I just, just want to talk to you. Um, oh, I forgot to bring my phone. It's actually 9 p.m. And I'm tired. I'm going to remove this makeup. Now, I haven't touched my face. Not touched my face. I haven't done anything retouched or powdered or anything um, during this day and I've been having this makeup on for around eight and a half hours almost nine and this is how it looks I do look a little bit shiny and I do look a little bit oily but not too oily you know not that kind of oilness that I usually look have after these many hours and my makeup looks really, really nice. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Maybe, maybe it looks like a mess on camera, but in real life, it really looks nice. I like this primer a lot. A lot. It kind of reminds me... The results, how my makeup looks, kind of reminds me of Milk Cosmetics. Though, Milk Cosmetics was actually very tacky and was like a real gripping primer. This... It's a, like a magic. Somehow, though it's not gripping, though it's not tacky, somehow it actually grabbed the foundation and held it in place. I was cooking, I was editing, I was playing with my kids and my makeup is still on. So I'm going to take off these lashes and wash my hair and take a shower, remove this makeup um, and go to bed because I'm really, really tired. And I just want to say that I like I like this primer a lot and I'm wearing <laughs> to show you guys I'm wearing these Amazon leggings if maybe you know what kind of leggings the TikTok how men react so true so true love this comfortable very nice um, just a side information but guys i really like this primer i'm ha very happy with it uh very surprised that it worked this well i'm going to wear it tomorrow to work too just to see if it's actually going to be that good even when i'm moving around and working for nine ten hours and i'll let you know in my monthly video how i feel about it if, if it actually delivered and it actually is good the texture is kind of strange. It doesn't really look like a gripping primer, but it did wonders for my makeup. So let me know down, down let me know down below, guys, what you think about this primer. If you tried it or you're cur curious to try it, I would love to know. But thank you for watching, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.